Okay, so this is really cool. I had a customer ask me the other day about whether or not they should try to compete with these other gyms that are coming in that are $10, $20 a month. Now, they're a higher-end gym. They offer uh, classes, um, custom personal training, nutrition. They offer everything, but they charge like $150 to $200 a month. They also have childcare. And so how do you try to justify your business when a cheaper competition is out there and you think you should compete with them? Well, I told her, and this is one of the biggest things that I've learned being in the industry, is you can't compete with the cheaper prices. You need to be the business that remembers the person's name. And that's the easiest way to explain it. So when it comes to your pricing, you need to keep it high. You need to keep your customer service high. You need to be the person that that customer knows when they walk into your facility, they're gonna remember you, you're gonna remember their name, and you guys are gonna continue always being there for them. So number one is the relationship that you have to keep with your customers. Now when you're dealing with the relationship, that's remembering their name, they're sending them personalized text messages, uh, following up with them on their birthday, remembering their workout schedule, knowing all about them, their personal life, and being the support system for them. So when they think of their gym or their business that they're going to, they know that you're gonna be providing the support that they need to see the results. So when they go to a cheap facility or someone cheaper or your competition, they're just doing it because for the lower cost. Those are actually the customers you don't want. You want the customers that will pay more for the results. So that's gonna be tip number two is results. So this should be your key is getting the customer the results that they're looking for and that they need. Um, and the reason they came to your business in the first place, if they go to the cheaper competition, that, co that competition is not going to care about them. They're not going to remember their name. They're not going to be focusing on the client's results like you would. So as a business owner, you can charge more, you can offer a better service, and you can focus on results. And then from there, use those re results to get referrals. So one thing for a lower price uh, business their customers are not raving fans. They're not going around talking about how awesome this business is. They're just doing it just to do it, right, for the lower cost. But when you have someone paying you more, you're creating relationships, you're getting them results, now they're gonna start giving you referrals. And that's gonna be uh, tip number three is the referrals. So now you have referrals coming in. This way, I know you, we've created a relationship. We've worked together. I know all about your goals, what your needs are. Now I've accomplished you and helped you get results. Now that I've done all of this for you, we have a really good relationship. I can ask you for that referral. I can say, do you have any friends, family, or coworkers that you can refer and come into our business? So with a more expensive business, you can have better results, better relationships, and more referrals with your customer base. So I want you to think about this coming into the new year. Uh, really focus on providing those good results, remembering the client's names, and most important, having the best customer service. If you have the best customer service, you're going to blow away the cheap competition. And I want you to remember, those aren't your clients. The people that are looking for the lowest cost are the ones that are not going to get the best results. So don't even worry about them. When they're ready, when they're ready for results, they're going to come to you. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys have a great day.